Hello, my name is Jens and I will be demonstrating today how to exploit the cable horn vulnerability. Today we will be exploiting the SACMCOM FAST3890 cable modem and we will show how a external attacker can gain full shell access to the modem. All the code used today will be available on the Liabird's GitHub page and all needed references can be found in the description of this video. The main part of this exploit is run in Python. This is a simple Flask application that hosts the server, which today will be acting as our attacker. This Flask application can of course be run on any web server that you own, but will in today's example just be running on our local machine. You can see it being run down here. The main endpoint of this application here is just hosting a simple index.html file here and the main purpose of this is just to serve the actual JavaScript here which is running the exploit. The JavaScript will afterwards send a request to the payload endpoint as you can see here. The cable modem is now ready to receive a connection. Anything that is sent to its IP address is run as code straight away. Therefore, we here in the payload uh, response sends an exploit code to its IP address. As you can see up here, it is simply extracted from the raw file, which is just a shell code written in C and compiled down to the MIPS architecture. And this is then sent to the cable modem. And you can, of course, find, um, as mentioned before, the C file on the repository where it's also explained how to compile this to the MIPS architecture. So let's jump into it. This terminal will be acting as the attacker therefore hosting the Flask server and it is now running. It is also here where we will see the shell when it has established a connection to the cable modem. So if we jump over to the browser that is acting as the victim in this case uh, we start by requesting the local.libers.dk, which is simply just redirecting us to the local domain. As we can see down here, we have sent back and forth the expected packages and the cable modem should now uh, establish the shell connection, which we can see here. Now we have a shell connection into the modem itself. And if we start poking around a little bit in here, we can see many, many interesting commands available to us. There are of course more commands inside the folders that we see down below, but today we'll just take a look at the three most interesting ones, or at least the ones that gives us the most control. The first one is the write memory command, which enables us to write anything we want to into the main memory of the cable modem. The second one is the read memory command, which enables us to read anything we want from the main memory. And the last one is the call command, which enables us to call anything in the main memory. This, of course, enables us to call any fun function in the whole firmware with any parameters that we want. And it also enables us to write any code we want to into the main memory and execute it. And of course, uh, all of this or all of the responses to these calls can be read again. These three commands also exist inside the flash folder, which enables us to do exactly the same, but persistently, so through reboots and alike in the firmware. Thank you very much for listening.